In this video, you will see me being triggered in real life. I wasn't going to upload it because I was a bit messy, but I like to honor how I feel in that current state and time. So you're gonna see how I process things and I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kalita Salia. If you are new, if you are not then welcome. I am, I share my perspective and my lens on how I view this reality in our realm that we share together. I'm also a crypto enthusiast, so if you are on that frequency and would like to be part owners of the new world, then take advantage of the sign up bonus below and get yourself some free crypto because who doesn't want to be part of the new world? But anyway, in this week's Bible study, from my lens <laughs> shall i call it that bible study from my lens anyway we're reading we're still on genesis and we're reading chapter two genesis chapter two verses four to eight we're gonna we're gonna read this okay i might just put it up anyway these are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens and every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth but there was not a man to till the ground but there went up a mist from the earth and watered the face of the ground okay we're just going to do the two verses because the other one's for another week. So I've got, I've, got, I've, got a lot to, I've got a lot to say. I've got a lot to say. Anyway. For a start, this is how I view it from my lens. The moment you started talking about that, these are the generations of the heavens and the earth. Um, in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heaven it's important to know that this is a second creation this is not the first creation that was mentioned before like it's a fact it's a fact just because it's saying it like these are the the generations of heaven doesn't mean that it's talking about the same one this is talking about a complete different creation here reason being is because the plants was already growing was already flourishing was already doing its thing you know what i mean but now it's not doing its thing because now it's saying before it grew it's like i'm sorry but when you were creating did you just create it as a seed you know why not just make it so it done now listen that might sound odd because a Christian might say, oh, well, no, because obviously if he's going to create it, then it's going to come as a seed and then it's going to grow. He's going to create a man to then make the seed grow and tilt, toil it and ting and ting and ting. But didn't the toiling of the ground come after sin? Wasn't that a result of sin? I'm just highlighting here the things that don't make sense. Okay, it's like I'm, I'm highlighting it because it don't make one drop of sense. Okay. Anyway, another difference. This character here is the Lord and the other one wasn't. The other one wasn't. wasn't. So before um, the one, say, supposedly creating, it was constantly saying us, like us. But this one now, no, it's just God. It's just God. And that it translates like as plural. So it was more than one God. It was more than one entity, more than one being, more than one vibrational frequency, depending on your point of view and how you like to see it. So um, it, was, it seemed like a, how can I put it? The best way to put it, it seemed like an, a higher evolved body, mind, soul, complex system talking at the beginning basically it was a unit of whatever vibrational frequencies were together um as a system so i've not done this yet but quite similar to when it comes out and i'm doing like movies and stuff similar to soul the jerry 
but that's what it seemed like that's what I'm what's coming through to me and then now here the second creation this is now the Lord this entity seemed to have um, separated okay it seemed to have separated this Lord energy the one um, the Lord you know my views on the Lord if you don't watch this video anyway um, I just want it to kind of make it clear that this verse here is talking about a second creation so you um, I don't know what could this possibly be like I view this Bible through so many different layers so many and it's just like you know who really who my point being is there was no need to till the ground before that is my point being there was no need to till the ground something happened the replenishing of the earth something happened and I'm gonna go into a category which I will have legit not even mentioned at all on my channel but crystalline being crystalline our DNA at once upon a time being crystalline meaning that um, it wasn't carbon it wasn't the 666 carbon it wasn't the the need to constantly till and toil the ground wasn't always the case because things just grew like things were think about avatar basically how I can best describe it but there was a once upon a time where we didn't have to do that stuff and I just feel so unorganized and just so like Ugh, in this video but that's just how I feel that's just how I feel like what yeah this video might not make the cut might have to do it again so I think I just have to read on for this to make sense so um and the Lord got verses 7 now chapter 2 and the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils breath of life and man became a living soul um and then he planted the garden so again this creation of man and dust this creation of man and dust and I just I just think to myself like what are they talking about are they talking about after the destruction of many things and there was literally just dust and rubble and you've taken the, the man the leftover man that's there and you've gone and just formed them into your own I you know identity because you've got like the lens of like the Anunnaki and 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 that what's which says oh it was Enki or Enli I can't remember is one of them who done it and wanted to trap and enslave humans and people 100% we were trapped and enslaved that's a fact it is a fact whether it was from Enki, Enki or Enlil I don't know I don't give a fuck however in terms of us being trapped and enslaved it happened the physical manifestation of this was and is the nine to five job system it is the shift what that's what it is the working the 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 constant draining of our energy is the entrapment is the slavery it's a fact so um it's like is this what it's talking about you see because sometimes even now you can sit there and read the bible and look at the words and you literally you try your best to make it make sense of what it said but i recognize there's sprinkles of truth in there covered in shit so what are you really talking about here from the dust of your ground with your breath what is that is that you basically saying you're um projecting your energy onto a group of set of people after the reset you see what i'm saying after the reset did you literally gather who you could from the rubble of your um from the rubble of of the wars <laughs> did you gather from literally from the dust and you've put into them your way of thinking your thought process your how you want them to be your breath of breath of life your programming into the children and the people at that time during the reset is that what it is 
is that what it is i don't know like people i'm opening up this now to be more of a discussion so i don't have all the answers for stuff you can see i'm fully triggered i'm triggered the fuck out of this right now because it's deeper than that they've done shit they have done shit to us and i'm vexed like i'm vexed they've done shit to us and they hide it in this fucking book they hide it in there and they hide it in there TV shows, the, the movies, all that shit. And it's annoying. It's fucking annoying. At this point, I'm just done. I'm done with it. Ah. Oh. So anyway, I'm opening this discussion. I see a lot of stuff. I go after, down rabbit hole after rabbit hole. And it's like, I just want to know. I want to know. I, I'm going to need like some communication and some feedback from this what are your thoughts how do you view this text do you know about the reset do you know about the anunnaki what is your perspective what's your perspective because from this saying li like living soul fuck off fam from this all i'm seeing is the the lord's energy being projected and programmed into people the way the lord wants it to be that's what i got from this text anyway that's it for this video my moods off the charts let me know in the comments below i'll see you in the next one bye